be doing a look using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Bad to the Bronze. Um, I am also going to be using today my Sephora um, Gradual Self Tanner Face Water. I got this last year and um, I used it all summer and I really like it. I did self tan yesterday. It doesn't look that much because of the lighting, but it is enough to tell a difference. So I'm going to also be using a darker foundation today to help my face match everything. But for this Sephora water, you just take like a little cotton um, facial pad and apply some to that. And I do always shake it first. And then I just apply it to my face. I really like the smell of this. It smells like um, kind of like coconuts and just like a tanning lotion. And you, I just do this every day and sometimes I do it at night before but I can use it before I apply my makeup. It doesn't really get oily. It just feels like water. Then for my primer today I'm going to be using my Nivea Men Shave Balm. I still am loving this primer and before I forget I'm also going in with my Freeze 24 7 um, anti-aging eye serum. I got this in my BoxyCharm last month. I've been trying it out. I haven't necessarily noticed a difference yet but I've only used it like three days um, I keep forgetting to and I'm going to be applying just a little bit of that under my eye area and it really does not take much of this at all in fact that was probably too much then going in with the Nivea Shave Balm I'm just using a little bit of this and applying it all over my face with some MAC Prep and Prime just to give it an extra moisture today it is feeling a little drier than normal First, we're going to start out with the eyes, and I'm going to be using, like I said before, the Maybelline um, a Color Tattoo and Bad to the Bronze. I'm just going to be applying this color directly onto the lid. Shadow in Busted, or sorry, Bust. And I'm going to be applying this to my crease area. And the outer corner of my eye. Then I'm going in with another Urban Decay shadow. And this is in the shade Laced. It's just a lighter matte brown. I'm going to be applying that in my upper crease area just to help blend everything together and make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm just going to use a blending brush for this. This eyeshadow look is very easy and simple to do. Moving back on to my face, I'm going to do my eyebrows first. Um, I already set them with my e.l.f. eyebrow primer. I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow Dip in the shade, or Brow Dip Promenade in the shade Blonde. Then I want my face to be very luminous today, so I'm going in with the MAC Strobe Cream. Then for today, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, and I did bleh, I did just purchase a large one of this, but this one is lighter. So I'm going to go back in with the, my sample size that I have of this color in 125 and use it for today. And I think I'm actually going to mix both of these colors together. So I'm going to mix 117, which is my light shade with 125. I don't know why but I feel like that's really streaky so I'm going to go in with my Artis brush. We're going in with the MAC Select Cover Up concealer in NC20 and I'm going to be using this under my eyes um, just as a little bit of a highlight today and I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender. Then 
then today I'm going in with my NYX cream contour palette and I'm going to be using this to contour today. I'm going to be using my other Artiste brush to blend that out. I'm going to go in with a highlighter under my eyes really quick first. And I'm going to be using the NYX Con HD Concealer in Porcelain. I'm also going to highlight on our forehead. And again, just using that damp beauty blender. And I would only normally do either the NYX or the MAC, but today I decided that the MAC just wasn't enough highlight. I wanted a little bit more intense, so we're going to use both. Just make sure that you really use a damp beauty blender especially if you're going to use two because you want to make sure it doesn't get cakey and dried out under the eyes and you want to set everywhere you applied the concealer and highlight and I'm also going to use it to set right here around my nose and I'm going in with my butter bronzer by Physicians Formula and applying that today as a bronzer And with bronzing the skin up as much as I did today, I want to make sure to bring this down on my neck. That way it all looks very well blended and... Then for highlight and blush today, I'm going to be using this by Beauty For Real. It is a dual um, highlighter and blush. I'm going to be using Coral Crush for the blush today. It's a cream blush, but it's very easy to blend. I really like this product. I actually got a lot of these products in my Boxy Charm, and I really do like them this month. Almost everything I've got, I've really enjoyed using. Then I'm going to be using the highlight in this, and it is High Beam, and I'm going to be applying it to the tops of my cheekbones and around my eye area. And also down my nose, Cupid's bow. And then we're just going to be blending that out. These are both just very natural and very pretty. And just like the blush, the highlight is super easy to blend. Then we're going in, I'm going to make it a little bit more intense of a highlight today. We're going to be using Vintage by Jessica not read that but I got this highlight in my Ipsy bag a while ago and I really like this highlight it's just a very pink pretty color girly color it's also just very intense especially whenever you put it on top of a cream then to finish up the eyes I'm going in with my Duché Cosmetics Ultra Precision Eyeliner in black and I'm going to be using this in my waterline Then I'm going back in with that Urban Decay shade, both of them actually. I'm using Bust first and applying that to the bottom lash line. Then I'm going in with Laced and I want the darkest eyeshadow and darkest part to be on the outer part of the eye.
Then we're going in with the Carly Bible palette. And I'm going to be using a shade from this to, it's the gold shade here. Well, and applying this on the center part of my lid to make it a little bit more intense. And then we're also going to be applying it on the inner corners of the eyes. Then for the lips today, we're going in with two ColourPop. Um, they are the Skimpy. I have the liner and the lippy stick. Then we're also going to be using um, Sephora's lip gloss in Natural Lock Shiny. Alright, and that is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I wanted to do something just very bronzy, um, kind of getting ready into the summer because it is starting to warm up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. And please don't forget to hit that like button down below. And also subscribe. I'll see you next time.